Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little, and we keep track of time. Being so serious, idiot. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yvonne and this is Sticky Mess 17. My channel is all about cleaning information, inspiration and motivation. So if you're interested, please like and subscribe. Turn on this notification bell so you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10am when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for joining me and coming back for part three of my kitchen deep clean. Um, don't forget my first video was in collaboration with at home with Willowberry. All the details are in the description box so you can go and check out our video. And any products I use in my home will be linked on the website stickymess17.co.uk. Thank you guys for joining me and with all of that said let's jump straight into it. I am in desperate need to eat through my freezer so that I can de-ice my freezer. So I've got a nice big pot of, <laughs> don't laugh, it's called poo soup because it makes you go. It is basically just root vegetables with uh, vegetable stock or chicken stock and then just blitz it up and you're guaranteed to go soon afterwards and we absolutely love it. It's really healthy. Um, you can obviously season it as well. So don't need a recipe, just throw in a load of root vegetables and you'll be fine. So because my kitchen is in such a state, I want to remind you that when you're undertaking an overwhelming task such as this one, that it is going to look worse before it looks better. Um, I am obviously pulling out everything out the cupboards. I have pulled everything out the cupboards and putting everything through the dishwasher, washing everything down because there's been a lot of dust and everything when my kitchen was, um, when the sink was moved and just I haven't had the energy to give it a deep clean so this is why I'm doing it literally from scratch. Also if you move in houses, houses it's good to um, just clean out everything because the amount of dust that comes with moving boxes and things like that just be assured it always looks worse before it looks better and I am not putting things back in the exact same place because I honestly can't remember where they go but I also want to maximize a bit more space that I can and have a bit more organization um, and see if I can make things work a little bit differently to when I had my brain injury uh, so it's just a bit a matter of tidying up and finding spaces for things where I have no space in my house <laughs> So I checked my salt and my rinse aid before I started washing everything through so it wouldn't run out um, whilst I'm doing this massive deep clean. And I can tell you that my dishwasher used half of the portion of salt that um, is allocated to the machine, if you know what I mean, inside the little drum thing. And the rinse aid I did need to replace. So that's how much washing the dishwasher did. And I couldn't imagine standing behind the sink and doing it. And I do apologize to anybody who doesn't have a dishwasher. I love my dishwasher. It does make light work of a big chore like this. I'm going to have a little bit of a rent now and I will be honest I know there's bigger problems happening at the moment and my heartfelt sympathies are going out to everybody involved um but <laughs> I went into Tesco the other day I don't know why I'm laughing because it was absolutely 
I, I was gobsmacked. Fuel um, at the time of recording this is one seventy five one pound seventy five point nine pence per litre. Uh, that is the most expensive I've seen in my local area. It's ridiculous. And it's not even like at a big garage, uh, petrol station, gas station. But um, so I'm trying to get all the words of what these things are called in different parts of the world because I know I've got subscribers all over. Oh, yeah. Let me know down below where you're from. Just put sort of your country or your major city or something. I obviously don't want to know exactly where you live. But like I live in Wales, you can say Cardiff, uh, just store Wales. Um, and just let me know where you're down in the comments. But I went into Tesco the other day, going back to my story. And I picked up a few items. It was only like armful. I didn't have a basket or a bag or anything with me. And it was £40. I picked up cat food, some gammon, a loaf of bread, um, two tiger loaves. And I can't even remember what else. It wasn't a lot, but it was £40. It's ridiculous. So another reason I'm eating through my freezer is to save a little bit of money. And then I can also de-ice the freezer and then I can start from scratch again and shell out. Oh my goodness, it's ridiculous, the price of things. And I know this is glo a global problem. I've heard people in America saying they've got problems. Um, and also South Africa, fuel prices are absolutely spiraling out of control. And obviously fuel impacts our food, it impacts everything else, but nothing else goes up. You know, the only thing that's coming down right now, especially here in Wales, is the rain. <laughs> Even our ages are going up. What's going on with this? <laughs> yeah, I know it's just... Hopefully it will all rectify itself soon. So whilst the dishwasher was on, um, I did a few other things in the house, like I had to clean the bathroom and I've just changed the washing over. But as you can see, the dishwasher is now ready on about its 12th load. I don't think it's been that much. I think this is about load six now. Um, but as you can see, the counter on the left hand side, the pile of stuff that was there that was all over my floor is now going down. So I am getting through it. And instead of leaving everything on the drying rack, I am just going to towel dry it. And I think I went through about three tea towels you know, dishcloths, um, to dry my dishes. And as soon as they got wet, I just threw them in the wash. Now I've got a load of silicon like cupcake holders and donut makers in the top there and they were sort of like a bit slimy from the soap so I'm going to rinse them out and as you can see the tap is running because I'm rinsing them out as they're going up onto the top and then they're going to just, I'm going to let them air dry for a few hours because I really cannot be bothered to wipe out every single cupcake holder. There's about seven designs and there's at least six of them in each design. I'm not standing there drying out those cupcakes and the silicon they'll dry really quick. So this is my plastics cupboard. I've got all my plastic lids in a dish, in a like a basket type thing. And then all my takeaway containers, I can't even call them Tupperware because they're not. Um, my food storage containers, there you go. Uh, they're all piled up there. Hi, I, there's a, some of them discolored from things like beans and curries that we have takeaway. What I do is when we have takeaway, I just keep the container and reuse it as a way to recycle and save a bit of landfill. Um, and then the coffee pot that's on the top there is being handed over on or handed down, passed on, donated on my local charity site. So I'm get, waiting for that to be collected. And then, yeah, I need to sort this cupboard out. I haven't really got a lot of space in my kitchen. These appliances I need need to keep my food processor i do use um the popcorn maker is a once in a while but it's something that i probably will use and i don't want to get rid of it because if, every time i've got rid of one i've needed it again so then i've decided i'm not getting rid of it okay i've only got rid of two in my lifetime one did break um but it's just nice for like movie night and things like that to just have a bit of popcorn and even like school fates or school um sales or stuff i get you can just make popcorn for free at, well very few pence and it goes a long way so it's something i'm not getting rid of my i've got like a nutribullet type blender thing it's not a nutribullet um and i do use that as well for shakes but at the moment i'm just using my handheld blender to mix my uh, meal replacements <music>
as I mentioned in my last video, there is things that uh, I can't put on the top shelf. So I'm also doing like the daily dishes and putting them on the bottom shelf if I can and then keeping the plastics on the top. Obviously, there's stuff I know that can go on the bottom, like my food storage bowls, but small plates uh, have to go on the top and things that are a bit more delicate to go on the top shelf. So I'm using the bottom shelf to like load the coffee cups and the heavier stuff that, and the ceramics and things that don't really matter if they're by the heating element at the bottom. Now my soda crystal jar has been washed and it's been overnight out it's been out overnight um air drying so it's completely dry now i can put the soda crystals back in there and put them back in the utility room i used the soda crystals in the bottom of the uh, dishwasher the other day to wash it out so that my dishwasher was nice and clean to do this to do this massive task My drying rack now is so stacked up and the cup just doesn't want to stay on the top and the lid and everything else so it's just falling straight over the back uh, rinse it out and then put it back again This is the next day now and I'm going to take off everything that I left yesterday on the drying rack and put it away. Um, I've obviously had some towels in the washing machine so I've just put all the scrunchies, shower loofers, whatever you want to call them, um, in the laundry basket because the towels have just come out so I can take them all upstairs.
and I'm pleased to say now I can pretty much see all of my kitchen counters again. I'm so pleased this has been done now. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. when I upload a new video. If you're interested in cleaning information, inspiration, and motivation, and any products I use in my home will be linked on the website, stickymess17.co.uk. Thank you for watching me. Don't forget, when I hit a thousand subscribers, I will be giving away a £50 Amazon voucher and when I hit 2,000 subscribers I will be shaving my head and donating the proceeds of the video to the Wales Air Ambulance and my hair to the Little Princess Trust. So please guys subscribe and you will be supporting two charities at no cost to yourselves. Thank you so much for watching, look after your brains and I will see you next time. So I guess you bye! Life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time Being so serious, idiots Thinking it will matter Keep me company downtown Before the clock runs out